Hi, we're here at the Rumsey Malvern Counter location with Dave Kang, one of our networking specialists, to talk about the difference between Cat 5e and Cat 6 cabling. Dave, Rumsey stocks both Cat 5e and Cat 6, but we get a lot of questions about the differences between the two or when you would choose one over the other. What are the primary differences? Okay, so with the case of Cat 5e or Cat 6 copper cable, the primary things to consider are distance and the bandwidth. So in the case of these patch cables, about one to five meters, the distance is obviously less of an issue, but you want to consider the bandwidth. Mm -hmm. So for a higher bandwidth application, such as video, you're going to want to use CAT6. Okay, I got it. So the primary things to consider are distance and bandwidth, but for little distance things like patch cables, it doesn't matter as much as bandwidth. Bandwidth is the primary factor. That's right. Got it. What about with bulk cable boxes like these here, is distance more of a factor then? Uh, absolutely. So with bulk cable in uh, CAT5e and CAT6, they're both going to be able to transmit one gigabit per second up to 100 meters. With CAT6, you get the added benefit of 10 gigabits per second up to 55 meters. So that's a pretty big dis difference, one gig versus 10 gig. When would somebody want to take that into consideration? What's a good application for that? So if you're building out a network backbone or planning ahead for the future with higher bandwidth or speed requirement devices, you're going to want to use CAT6 as well. Got it. Um, determinations and jacks matter when you're picking between CAT5e and CAT6? Ab absolutely. So for optimal throughput, you will want to use the 5e jacks along with the 5e terminations, and the same with the CAT6 to CAT6. So you always want to match it? Correct. One more thing, you mentioned 55 meters and 100 meters. What about applications that need a network over 100 meters? Is that when you use fiber? Yes, you would definitely use fiber beyond 100 meters just because the copper signal will start to degrade after 100 meters, causing performance loss. Got it, makes sense. Important information, thank you Dave, I appreciate it. So Rumsey stocked a full offering of fiber and copper solutions. If you have any applications that we can be of assistance with, please feel free to call one of our networking specialists, and we will be happy to help.